So the ceiling was kind of broken by Pandit Ravi Shankarji when he first wrote a sitar concerto. Till then, we used to just wonder if there'd ever be a day when Indian musician would be able to write a symphony orchestra. But I wasn't sure about my ability to do it because I'm a percussionist. And for a rhythm player to be able to write a melodic piece for 80 musicians to play, the idea was to have the orchestra become a tabla player. One of the important elements in Western orchestra is the woodwind. Then I thought that maybe, just maybe the bansuri would be something that will complement and interact with that section of the orchestra a little bit better. And the reason for selecting these two instruments for me was the two musicians, Niladri Kumar and Rakesh Chaurasia. Their unique ability to be able to think of music in a universal tongue. You need to have very strong grounded roots in the tradition that you have learned. It's really an honor to be on board playing with the symphony. It's a different challenge for us. So their mindset is such that if they are performing a particular raga, they are simultaneously dissecting that raga not only from an Indian classical point of view, but from a Western harmonic point of view.